Doe je heel daar. In your few minutes, check in with me here. Hope everybody's well. Hope you're safe. We'll do a slow flow and some yin, heart opening yin at the end of uh, our flow. If you have a block or blanket, bolster, grab what you need. And just give everyone a few more minutes here. Give me land because I can't see anything. There we go. One minutes. And while we're waiting for some more people to join in with us, uh, get comfortable on your mat and then we'll move back. And begin, to, as always, to make your mat your sacred space. And just get really comfortable and begin to ground yourself. Close your eyes. And touch your mat, maybe bring the fingertips to the mat. Feel your connection, your space. Deep breath in. And exhale it out. Deep inhale. Exhale. Remember the breath. And allow the breath to link your mind and your body together here. Notice your spine. And relax your shoulders, maybe roll them, bring them up towards the ears and then squeeze them together and draw them down the back. Place your palms on your lap. And let the breath flow through the heart space. Begin to soften there. I just want to remind everybody with um, the pandemic going on, it is very normal. And you may not even realize what it is, but uh, grief, sadness, and loss gets stored in the body of heart space. And it doesn't have to be a death or a financial crisis, loss of a job. It doesn't have to be any of those. I could cry as I, I'm going to say it. Um, you know, it's the, the little things. It's the little things. Uh, someone posted, a dear friend of mine posted something. Just missing it. You, times like this, you miss everything. You miss the old. You miss the early days. You miss what you had going on now. And then the unknown, a little bit of anxiety around that, a little, a lot, either or. So it's times like this to just be aware, feel your feelings, maybe go for a walk, come to your mat, your practice. And just be gentle with yourself. And then you're okay. And you're enough. Draw your hands to your heart and bring awareness to the palms at your heart space and set an intention for your practice. Make your practice. Make your whole life your yoga, dedicate the fruits of your practice. Make your whole life your practice. And dedicate everything good, everything that's light, 
and gentle and true. Dedicate whatever comes up for you today, maybe not on your mat right now, maybe after or tomorrow or tonight. Just dedicate everything good to whatever you want and need. You deserve, we all deserve, peace and happiness and well-being. And here, begin to open the eyes. On the inhale, reach the palms up towards the sky. And then draw the hands, heart space. And then again, deep inhale. Exhale, heart space. Deep inhale. Exhale, feel the energy of grace. That is truly who we are. That's at the core of us, all of us. May we remember that today, now, always. From here, switch up the ankles. And just begin to roll the head side to side here. Nice and easy, nice and gentle. And just let everything fall away from the top of the shoulders, the neck, side of the neck. And come back to center. And from here, take the right palm down and reach the left palm over and breathe into the left side body. Begin to open up the heart, side body opening, the torso, the hip releasing, easing your way into your practice and slowly come back up. Other side, palm reaching, relax the shoulder away from the ear. Up, and then basket grip behind you. Lift the heart space up. You okay, Ben? Yeah. My daughter and my boyfriend here helping me. And then from here, take a gentle twist. Take the right palm reaching up and then place the right hand over the left knee, face over that left shoulder. And keep the spine nice and straight, but keep it soft. We've only just begun. And gaze over that left shoulder, begin to wring everything out. And come back to center, other side, opposite palm reaches up, reaching over that right knee, and then gaze over that shoulder. Center. Take the soles of the feet together. You can come in as far as it feels okay for you. Or you can stay out because it is the beginning of practice. Take a deep inhale and then exhale. Fold yourself over. And breathe into the low back. Breathe into the outer hip. Inner thigh. Up. Take the thighs out long, flex the heels, lift the chest up, and take the palms alongside of the hips here in Dandasana. Feel the sit bone connected to the mat here, root and ground yourself. Hope my dirty yoga feet aren't too bad. And then from here, we'll make our way into child's pose. Take your time as you make your way there. Move with ease. Be graceful about it. 
Press your hips back and reach the palms long. Forehead reaching for the mat. We'll work with all the chakras, all the, the seven major chakras, energy systems in the body. Nice flow, warming everything up, releasing. And then we'll drop in deeper with our yin and get into heart as we hold. Creating more space. For things that are, are happier, lighter, feel better. And then from here, come to neutral spine on fours. And just come into your cat cow. Move as much as you like, as fast or as slow. But I want you to feel everything. Notice the belly. Pull the belly in, pull the spine, and these tension. And then as you come into your cow, soften the belly, relax the shoulders. Coming into your cat, breathe into that low back. There's a little bend in the elbows. And carrying a lot of tension in the low back and the hips. That also is very common at times when there's a lot of stress. And it may not even be in your own home, but that collective energy, that collective consciousness, we feel everything. We feel, it. We feel others. We can tend, some of us especially can take it on. So just release through here. And then from here, come to the balls of the feet, hips to heels, walk the palms in, and have the hands to heart space. If this gets to be too much with the feet, because we're going to hold it a bit, you can just come back down, hips to heels. If not, come to the ball of the feet, see the toes come under, and then the hips press back, and that helps to heal the foot, heal the ankle, heal the calf. You okay, Anna? And then from here, plant the palms, bend the knees slightly, and pull forward in a forward fold. Reach for opposite elbows and sway side to side, and just take the movement here again. Get into the side body. And let everything open up. Core engage, protecting that low back. And all four corners of the feet, solid and rooted, or solid through the thighs. Knees could be bent. Plant the palms, inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold, step back to down dog. And it's our first down dog. Take a deep inhale. Exhale it out. Bicycle the feet. Again, you want to draw to you a beautiful grounding energy to the thighs. Draw in that grounded energy from, from the earth. Maybe rock the hips. And then come back to center. Rise up on the balls of the feet and then come back down. Rise up. Come back down. Once more, rising up. Coming back down. And take a slow, slow walk up to standing. Forward to the top of your mat, and then gently roll up to Tadasana. Take your time as you come up. We will come into our sun salutation. Sorry, Namaskar A. On the inhale, sweeping the fingertips up, a little back bend, exhale, folding yourself forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, flat back, lead with your heart, exhale, fold. Step back to a high push up and then lower down, knees, chest, and chin. Inhale to a baby cobra. Squeeze your butt. Keep the tops of the feet planted and draw the shoulder blades down the back. Press back to child's pose. Knees to be back, knees to be together, or you can take them apart. If the low back is tight. Create traction by bringing the knees in. 
and then reaching the hips back. Come into your down dog, a little deeper, heels reaching for the mat a bit more. Breathe, come back to the breath. Let the breath cleanse and purify everything in the body, any stagnant energy, any emotion, negative emotion, held or stored. Allow the breath to heal that, clear that. Bend your knees, gaze forward, walk or hop yourself, top of your mat, come to forward fold. Inhale, hop down. Exhale, fold. Take your feet two feet apart and bask your grip at the low back. Open up the shoulders, let the forehead reach for the mat. Core engage, the chest and our spine. Feeling the elbows, the wrists. Release the palms to the mat and drop that back. Exhale, hold. And again, take a slow, slow roll up to standing. And let every bit of fall off, every bit of tension just fall off behind you. Let it fall off your back. Roll off your, your back, your shoulders. Ukatasana, upward chair. Rolling the pinkies in, hips press back. Nice deep inhale, exhale, pull. Inhale, flat back, exhale, pull. Step back to high push up and hold here. Keep a bend in the elbows, core engaged, heels press back. Press back to down dog. Breathe. Wave the upper body forward, high push up. Press back to down dog. Once more, wave to high push up. Come back to down dog. And then from here, wave the upper body forward and lower down knees, chest, and chin, or chaturanga. Inhale into space. That low back, open up. And then press back to down low. From here, right heel finds left. Release it forward, warrior one. Take your time as you set up your foundation here. Right knee bent, nice wide stance. Then raise the arms up, lift the chest, press through the outer edge of the feet. Warrior two. Back foot parallel, back of the mat, arms reach forward and back, the hips, the hips tuck forward, and the knee stays behind the ankle. Nice, nice strong foundation here. Deep inhale, exhale, hands down to the mat, step yourself back and flow. Inhale into cobra or up dog, exhale, down dog, and breathe. Left heel finds left. Release it forward, warrior one. Other side. Arms up. Relax the shoulders. And really try to get the hips squared to the front of the mat as you press through the outer edges of the feet so the feet can open, the hips can open, and the heart to shine right up. So creating your uh, grounding, rooting energy, which creates security and stability. Warrior two. Back foot parallel down the mat. 
Keeping that tailbone again. Relax in the heart space. Deep inhale. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Let yourself back and flow. Meet me back in down dog. Take your time. Bend your knee, gaze forward, walk or hop this on top of your mat. Come to forward fold. And tap that back. Exhale, fold. Inhale up to Ukutasana. Exhale to Dasana. Hands to heart. So we'll try that again. Deep inhale, reaching palms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Walk or hug back. I push up and we'll come into side plank. Dropping the right knee if you need, or stacking everything up. Shoulder above the wrist. Come back to center. Rest and child's pose, palms alongside of the side body. Take our other side, coming into our high push up again, and then come into your side plank. Knee bent or stacking it all up. Come back to center, lower down, chaturanga. Inhaling to Kuba. Exhaling, down dog. Breathe. Breathe into the whole back side of the body. And rest here. Right heel front length. Bend the knee, open the hip, three legged dog. Stay here. Or if you have it in your practice, you can flip your dog. Reaching the chest up towards the sky. And then flip it back on length. And release the right thigh forward, warrior two. Take your time as you set yourself up. And again, arms reaching forward and back. And come into peaceful warrior. Right arm reaching. Left arm can reach behind you. And come into side angle. Right forearm on the thigh. Left palm reaches over the head. You can stay here, or you can take the right palm down towards the mat. And just keep that right knee bent. Drift back up. Warrior two, inhale. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Step yourself back and slow. Inhale into cobra. Exhaling, down dog. Rest. Left heel finds left. Bend the knee, open the hip, stay here, or flip your dog. Whatever is in your practice. Flipping it back on left. Release the thigh up. And come into your warrior two. Peaceful warrior. And let that whole left side of you. Side angle. What left forearm can come to the side. Your palm can reach. For the mat. Drifting back up, warrior two, deep inhale. Exhale, hands down to the mat, step yourself back and flow. Inhaling to up dog. Exhaling down dog.
Bend your knees, gaze forward, walk or hop yourself top of your mat, come to forward fold. Inhale, step back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look at top mat. Exhale, to dasana. Hands to heart. From here, step the left foot back. We're going to come to a high lunge. So just come to the ball of that left foot, right knee bent. And come into a nice, soft cactus on. Take the palms down to the mat and finish a simple twist as the right palm will reach up. And you're running out the spine. Come back to center, drop that left knee, and come into your low lunge. Your hands can be on your heart. They can stay on the thigh, or you can reach them up, whatever feels best for you, and just breathe into all of the tightness in that hip flexor here. From here, plant the palms down, flex that right heel, and fold yourself forward for half split. And breathe into that right hamstring. Here, bend the right knee, come to your, your lunge, and then step yourself forward, come to your forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach the palms up towards the sky. Exhale, come back, heart. Step the right thigh back, high lunge, opposite side. So take your time, set yourself up. Breathe into that right hip flexor. Reach the palms long. And from here, right palm down, left palm reaches up for that simple twist again. Come back to center. Inhale, lift your heart up, drop the right knee into your low lunge. And let those hips fall forward. Palms flex the left heel, fold forward for your half split. Bend the left knee, come to that high lunge, and step yourself back to down dog. Take a nice deep inhale, exhale it out, chatter on up. Lower down knee, chest to chin, or chaturanga into your cobra or up dog. Exhaling down dog. Bend your knee, gaze forward, walk or hop this on top of your mat. Come to forward fold. Inhale, up back. Exhale, fold. Inhale up to Utkatasana. Draw your hands to prayer. Come into prayer twist, right side. You can drop deep or stay high up for an easier, softer way. Knees are in the same plane here. Inhale back to center. Exhale, prayer. Other side. Left center, inhale, reach the palms up. Exhale, Tadasana. We'll come into eagle, so we'll, we'll do some balancing. Find your drishti, find your focus. Ground through your left thigh. Inhale, palms reach up. Exhale, right palm underneath. The elbows, hinging at the elbows, wrapping the right thigh. Find everything up you want, the hips squared. Chest square and just breathe. Hold here. The hips open, soften them. The back of the heart. Release tension. And unwind. Deep inhale. Exhale. Other side. Opposite elbow underneath. 
Changing. Pulling elbows in, press hips back, line up the thigh again, other side. We fall out, come back up, get back in. Exhale, heart center, tree, Vakasana. Left thigh activated, right heel in towards the groin. Full expression looks like this, or this is enough here. Below or above the knee. And then raise back. Back up, shake out the thigh if you need. Other side, Vakasana. Knees lie back, knees back up, shake out the thighs. From here, set the left thigh back. Come into your warrior two. We're just going to do a bit of grounding here. We're going to add some more grounding, and then we'll take it down. So come into your warrior two. Press your hips back. You may need to adjust the back heel in an inch or two. As you press the hips back, reach the right palm forward. There's a little micro bend in your front thigh, your front knee. Left palm reaches up as you tuck the tailbone to open up the front side of the body. Gently come back up, right toes face forward, nice wide leg stance. See if you can get the heels wider than the hips. Take a deep inhale, lift chest up, exhale, slumdai forward. And maybe walk the fingertips through the thighs to get into the hamstrings a bit more here. Let the forehead reach for the mat. Beautiful inversion here. Inhale, walk the palms in front of the face and tuck that back. Exhale, bend the knees slightly, roll up to goddess pose. Head coming up last, tucking the tailbone again. Reaching, palms up. As you tuck that tailbone, gently drift back up. Facing the back of your mat from warrior two, just to set up your nice, strong foundation. Make your way there. And then come into triangle. Press the hips back. And then reach that right palm up. Turn the toes forward again. And take a swan dive forward one more time. Inhale, chest lifts up. Exhale, fold forward. This time you'll walk the palms out in front as if you're in down dog. And just melt the back of the heart. And just find a sweet spot here. Walk the palms in front of the face. Inhale, flat back. Bend your knees and take a slow, slow roll up to standing. You could heel toe your feet together if you'd like. And then just step yourself top of your mat. Take a deep inhale. Reach the palms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Step back. High push up and lower to your belly. Take your time onto your belly. Just rest here. Bend at the elbows. Palms curl. And we'll come into infant. On the inhale, you lift the chest, reach the arms behind you, and the thigh lifts up. And you're going to open up that low back. You're building strength through the spine. And you're unclogging the solar plexus here as the heart opens. 
and then rest, coming back down, let them go, let them be. And we'll try that again, coming in, down, reach the palms, lift the chest, lift the thighs. Rest. You can rock the hips. You can sway the thighs. Come back to center. Press yourself up to high push up. Press back to down dog. And we'll come into our hips here. Take a nice deep inhale. Exhale it out. Right heel finds length. Release it forward, right knee, right wrist. On the inhale, chest lifts up. On the exhale, fold forward. So the sole of the foot, the shin can be parallel to the front of the mat. If this is too much, sole of the foot can come into the groin. And you just want to breathe through the tightness. Flex the heel to protect the knee. Palms in. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, release the thigh back. Find length. And come into your down dog. And take a moment here to find your center. Left heel finds length. Release it forward, left knee, left wrist. Inhale, chest lifts up. Exhale, fold forward. Notice how one side is usually tighter than the other. And just breathe into the tightness and let the breath flow through. Releasing heaviness. And just making space. A lighter, lighter feel. A lighter leg. Palms in, lift the chest up, exhale, press back to down dog. You can release the thigh if you need. Come into your down dog, take a nice deep inhale. Exhale it out, and we'll make our way onto our belly. We're going to come into the in part of our practice for some heart openers. So we work through all the chakras. We balanced all of that out. We grounded. We created some um, flow, some fluidity through the, the hips. Nice release. We did some twists for detoxing and unwinding, releasing tension in the heart space, opening the heart. So from here, we're going to come to the belly. If you have your block, grab your block. And you're going to take your palms shoulder distance apart. You're on your elbows. If this is too much, you can walk the palms out a little bit if you need to come back down. It's nice to have a block. I love a block here. Um, or you can just do prayer. Or you can do nothing. Shoulders away from the ears. We're going to do the long hold. You want to be mindful that you're not slumping into the shoulders here. You can tighten your butt if that feels better, or you can relax it. And just keep coming back to the breath. Take a nice deep inhale. Pause. And exhale it out. Deep inhale. Exhale out. 
go at your own pace. Just be mindful of the pauses. The pauses between the inhales and the exhales. And then we need to come back down, let that go, rest. If you want to take your ear to the mat and rest, you want to just bend your elbows, just rest. Relax. So we're going to get into the front of the shoulders. Take the arms out to the teeth. You're going to roll, so keep your arms out to the teeth, bend your left elbow, clench your palm, and then roll onto your right side. So your thighs can be straight, your temples on the mat. If you need something a bit more, you can bend the, the thigh, and we're going to hold here. Breathing into the front of the shoulder, healing in the arm. The chest. And again, energetically opening up heart, creating healing. And just keep coming back to the breath. You're almost there. And then slowly release, come back down onto your belly, release the thigh, release the arm, bend at the elbows, and just rest. So the pauses in between. Your asana is just as important as um, the posture of the asana. So we'll take our other side, bringing the arms out to the teeth. Oops. Bending the right elbow or your opposite elbow this time, rolling onto the opposite side. I'm just switching around so that I'm not facing you this whole time. You want that left side release here. And then again, as you're clearing the energy through the heart space, this is usually an area, it's a bridge. It's a bridge from the heart to the mind. And the energetic feel through the heart space would be like a tenderness, a gentleness, compassion, loving kindness for ourselves first, and then Sending that back out to, to others. There's a beautiful, I forget where I read it or who says it, but I think it's Buddha. Um, you above everyone deserves the loving kindness that you give others. And I love that so true, and it's the hardest thing to do. And then gently come out of this, rest, bend the elbows, come to your belly, let that be. Close your eyes, take a moment here, let that sink in.
And then press yourself back up to child's pose. Take the knees together. And we're just going to rest in child's pose just for a bit here. And we're still staying with our heart opener. Maybe take the palms just alongside of you this way, making it an easier, softer way. Or the yin, child's pose feels lovely like this too with the bent elbows. And just breathe, soothe the heart space. It may not feel like much here, but there's a lot of tension being released. It's very soothing for the heart. And then from here, come back up gently. And if you have a block, you want to use your block, you can. We're going to come onto our back. So all the way down to your back. And take your time moving. Moving with grace. Coming onto your back. Just take a moment here. Take the thighs out long. And take the palm. Place them on your belly. And just take some breaths. Some breaths here. Maybe exhaling through the mouth. And then from here, you can bend your knees, plant the heels, and your hips distance apart. And on the inhale, you're going to lift your pelvis, lift your chest up towards the ceiling for bridge. Relax the arms, let them sway alongside of your body. Or if you would like to basket breath underneath you, you can. And you just keep lifting the pelvis up. Let the, the quads open, the hips open. The chin is in towards the chest. You want to protect that cervical spine. And just keep lifting. You can place the block underneath your low back if you have one. And then low, take a, a slow roll down. Vertebrae by vertebrae here. And then just windshield wipe the knees side to side. Nice and slow. And come back to center. And then from here, we'll come into happy baby. Take the soles of the feet reaching up, bend the knees. Thighs can be straight if you'd like. Or the knees to be bent, but you want to keep that low back down and the back of the neck long. And just relax with the whole body. Relax here. The groin is opening, the hips are opening, and our base and our solar plexus that holds our organs is building strength here. So just keep breathing, relax. If it gets to be too much with both thighs, you can take one thigh down and leave the opposite one up. And then reverse it, you can go halfway into the other side. Play around, see what feels best for you. We have about another minute here. And then release the thighs down, let them sway out long, and take the palms on your belly again and just rest. Just breathe. Pull the knees in towards the chest. Maybe reach for opposite elbows. Relax the feet, let them splay alongside one another. And 
knees. You can see if you can bring the forehead up towards the knee. Here, take the legs up, take the right thigh over, bend the left knee, and pull the left knee in towards your chest. And we'll hold here. And just keep coming back to deep and slow. Pause and then the exhale. And take the thighs down, take the feet down. Take your feet as wide as your mat, take the knees together. Take the palms reach up, and then just lay them over the face. Just take a moment here, and rest. Feel the mid-back open a little bit. Other side, take both thighs up, take that left sole over the right quad, pulling that right knee in and breathing into that left side. Yeah, take the soles of the feet in towards the groin, and you can take the palms either on the belly, you can take your left palm on your heart, right palm on your belly, or to get into the mid back, you can reach your arms in prayer above your head. You just let the front of the hips open, the outer hip open, heart. Here, take the thighs out long and just rest, just be. And let that sink in. And we'll come into a leg. You have two options. You can come up into a leg up the wall, which is lovely if you're men menstruating. If you feel like even in a yin practice, we're not going to hold it as long. But you can come into, if you feel you need something more, you can come into plow. So you'll reach the thighs. They can just reach. They don't even have to touch the mat. They just reach behind you. You can support your low back with the knee. The gaze is up. The chin is in towards the chest. So this is the deeper expression. You can even bend the knees slightly. Or you can just simply stay in your legs up the wall. Whatever is best for you. It's a beautiful posture, it's sending fresh blood back to the heart, releasing 
tension through the thighs. And then from here, bend the knees, take the thighs out long, and just rest. Draw the knees in again. Lay them to the left as you gaze to the right for a final twist. Seal in our practice with a, a twist here. Let every last bit of tension just fall away. Gaze to the right, knees to the left. We need more expression. The thigh can stretch out long. Final detox. Come back to center, up to side. Take your time making your way there. Keep the shoulders down. Gaze opposite direction. When you feel a little something in the head, roll back. It's a beautiful unraveling. Center. Take the thighs down. Relax them. And you've made your way to the most important posture in yoga. Shavasana. Feet wider than the hips. Feet splay out. Back of the heart is soft. The shoulders are relaxed. Palms splay up. Just close your eyes and just melt. I'm going to sit up, but you guys lay down. And here's where all of the, the whole practice, all of your asana, all of your breath, your intention comes to you here. It seeps into your body here. So let everything good come to you. Relax the thighs. Relax the hips. And the belly is soft. And you're just breathing. And the heart space is melting. The throat relaxes, the jaw relaxes. And bring your awareness to your forehead. And in your mind's eye, that third eye, feel the sound of OM. In that center there, OM. Where intuition lies and wisdom from the heart, your solutions, anything you want to manifest, this is where you can create clarity an open heart, an open mind, and there's peace. You know, the, the Course of Miracles always, there's that one, I believe it's the Course of Miracles. You want to be light, or you want to be peaceful. Choose peace. And now the crown of the head just to be open your Wide open here with your practice, with your breath, with each other.
And come back to your mat, your sacred space, your holy ground, wherever you are, is a holy, holy place. Feel the ground, feel the support underneath you, the stability underneath you. The wiggle the feet and the, the fingers. And when you're ready, reach your arm behind you and fall to your side, right side, eyes still closed. And press yourself up. Come sit with me comfortably. Eyes closed. Holding space for each other. Like we always do. We always do. Draw your hands to heart. Bow your head in reverence for life. For our practice. For the blessings, the contrast, for each other. May we be safe. May we be well and secure. May we be at ease. And may we be peaceful. The light. The love in me honors that in you. Remember how precious you are. Namaste. Thanks, everybody. I love you and I miss you. Be well. Stay safe. Can't wait to see you.